All right, I'm up here at Modern Warrior MMA, the home of Keith the Rockstar Richardson. And speaking of Keith the Rockstar Richardson, he is the shorter of the two people, Chaz Bryant being myself, and this is Keith Richardson being right here. And the paler of the two. The paler, the very paler of the two. Keith, you're part of a quartet of fighters from the Carolinas uh, on this XFC 26 card. You got yourself, you got Hannah Cyphers, who was just added, you got uh, Jason Hicks, and then you got the uh, title fight with uh, Hot Sauce Holtzman going against uh, Roger Carroll, hopefully all four of you guys will bring home wins. Yeah, you know, the Carolina, uh, Carolina is going to be well represented at uh, XFC 26, uh, so it should be a good card and uh, some great fights. Absolutely exciting card. You got, you're going up against uh, a veteran guy from the XFC cage, and Nate, uh, Night Train, Landweir, I hope, hopefully I'm pronouncing, well, I don't know if the nickname really makes any difference, but it's Nate, Nate Landweir. Right now he's uh, at, I believe, two and one inside the XFC cage. So he's a veteran, just like yourself inside there. Yeah, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a matchup I'm, I'm real excited about. Um, actually, I think it's just uh, Nate the train. No, my fault. Nate. Yeah, you know, he, he, he is a white boy, uh, no night train. No so. night train. That, that was the guy from, I believe, the Minnesota Vikings, but that's a totally different story. Uh, this is going to be your... Uh, your third uh, fight inside the uh, XFC cage. The last one, it really didn't go the way you wanted it to versus, uh, uh, I can't even think of his name right now, but Jared Card. Jared uh, Card down there at, at Nashville also. Uh, are you looking to change around your sort of Nashville connections down there? You're trying to change around your, your fortune of luck? Uh, yeah, you know, um, yeah, I, I, you know, me and Jared fought a good fight. Um, yeah, yeah, it was a fight I think, uh, I, think I was winning and just... Uh, yeah, slipped up and made one mistake, and you know he's he's a veteran guy. He jumped right on the opportunity. Um, yeah, I like Nashville, real great city. So uh, I'm I'm definitely planning on having a better time uh, this time when I go out there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna gonna come gonna come home to the Carolinas with a W. Uh, of course, because you've been on a roll inside the Carolinas after that last fight. You got two wins: Noe Quintanella and versus a. Uh, uh, and I keep losing my name today. Chino Duran. Chino Duran. Right, but right now, since that fight, you're you're two and zero. So you're hoping to make your streak go to three and zero. How's how's the turnaround maybe for that going for you? Um, it's going great. You know, um, yeah, I'm on a two fight win streak. Um, since since uh, my last loss, um, two finishes, uh, submission and knockout. You know, I've uh, went out to California for a couple weeks, got some work with Alpha Male. You know, changed some uh, things with my camp. Change some things with my diet and not my nutrition. Um, yeah, now I've got my own nutritionist. So, uh, yeah, I've changed a lot of things, and you know, I think the XSC is going to see the, the best Keith Richardson they've seen in the cage thus far. What have you learned about yourself since that last fight with uh, Jared Card? Um, you know, I, really, I, I learned that you know I've got I've got to keep uh, you know pushing myself in the gym, putting myself in bad positions in practice. So uh, you know when, when when they hap happen in a fight, you know I don't don't make the wrong decisions. You know I need to train with some guys that are, you know that can really beat up on me. You know and that's part of the reason why I went out to Alpha Male where you know I've got where there's you know three four guys that that are ranked in the top ten in the world. So you know I've got guys that'll put me in bad positions. So I make the right decision when I'm in those. Uh, negative positions. Do you still communicate with some guys since you mentioned uh, Alpha Male, do you still maybe communicate with some of those guys from that school when have they, you know, watched some of the fights, maybe critique you on something? Um, yeah, you know, I've, I've kept a little correspondence with, you know, um, uh, Dwayne Ludwig um, and uh, like Chad Mendez, um, you know, even uh, um, a, couple of, a couple of the other guys at the gym. Um, oh my God, his name's... Uh, so, his name slipped my uh, mind right now. It's um, Monday. It can happen. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's actually um, on this season of the Ultimate Fighter. Me and him trained a uh, trained a good deal while, while I was down there. Um, so you know, I yeah, you know, I'm always asking them, you know, for tips and you know, just uh, look into look into them. You know, I, and I brought some of the stuff that I learned out there back to back here to Modern Warrior, and you know, we've been implementing that for since the spring. You and uh, Nate sort of have a, a crossing of history. Uh, Nate fought, uh, Nate, he, he has, his last loss was versus Dwan Owens. He beat Dwan Owens, I believe, uh, last, April of last year. 
So you guys sort of have a, a matching up of uh, a crossing the pass. Uh, what do you see out of him that maybe might surprise you? Or, or, or uh, you think, hey, man, he really does this good in this department. And maybe just sort of how you know, do you think since he beat uh, one of his guys, if I can put this incorrectly, you know, the, yeah, um, just the crossing of history. Yeah, history. yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's one of those things, those styles make fights. Um, yeah, me, me and Dewan are completely different fighters. Um, you know, if, if you're going in there with that mindset, you know, I beat somebody that beat him, so I, sh you know, the, the fight's mine to win or lose. Um, you know, you, you can't really put a ton of stock in that, you know, and everybody always learns something from a loss. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, Plus, coming off a loss, everybody's going to come in uh, a lot more hungry. I know I've never, uh, never lost two in a row. And it's not going to happen now. Well, this won't be two in a row. Well, he's no, I'm, I'm going to. I'm, I'm planning on winning three in a row. Well, well how's the training been going down here at the Modern Warrior, beautiful Modern Warrior facilities? It's 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 Modern Warrior. It's always great. It's always hard. It's always intense. Um, the mats are always cleaned, occasionally. Usually, usually, you know, um, you know, we we get, we get great work. You know, I think that's part of the reason why you know we get guys, you know, from uh, other gyms, you know, wanting to come in, get some work with us too. You know, we've got a uh, big A train and uh, Fred Asser from uh, the Murder Squad coming in on a on a regular basis, getting some sparring, getting some training with us. You know, we we've got guys coming all over the place. Uh, you know, we just had Kevin Ferrant in here last week. You know, from Team Heinstein, um, you know, he's uh, always been a good training partner. So, you know, I um, think, we're, think, think we're doing the right things over here. And uh, I think, you know, it's going to show in my fight and it's going to show in uh, our upcoming fighters' uh, fights. Do you plan on fighting one more fight uh, towards the end of yours? Do you think this is a less XMC calls you for something else? Maybe just take the rest of 2013 off and see where it goes. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always looking to get in the cage. Uh, you know, th there's definitely a possibility I might take one more before the year. Um, you know, I, I've got to discuss that with the uh, XFC. I, you know, I know I've got some uh, other offers um, that I've got to wade through. Uh, but for right now, I'm, I'm focused on one fight and one fight only. You know, one fighter, one fight, f one fighter at a time. You know, right now, Nate Landwehr is on, on my table, uh, so. Uh, after after that, I'll uh, I'll make a final decision about it, exactly what I'm going to do. All right, well, I'm going to give you the floor. Let you thank whoever you want to thank the people out there. I'll step aside and the camera time, which I know you love, is all yours. I get it all all to me. Um, you know, I, I've, there, there's plenty of people to thank. First and foremost, you know, you know my guys over here at uh, Modern Warrior, uh, Pat Sweet. You know, I've got Chaz Bryan in here. Um, yeah, I've got Duran, Brad Roof, uh, Tyler Geiske. Yeah, you know, I've got I've got a great ca character, a guy, uh, cast of guys out here that uh, keep me on my toes. Uh, Big Wayne's Gym, Freedom Fighter Battle Forge has been a, a great sponsor and supporter of me for a long time. Brian Baker over at 007 Bell Bonds. Um, you know, he's he's been with me since day one, uh, and has just yeah you know, been crucial for me to even get to this point. Um, Impact Mouth Guards, uh, Diamond Cup, Diamond Thieves Tattoo, always hooking me up with good ink, um, and um, TNT, uh, you know, they, they really, really got my nutrition uh, on lock, you know, TNTProfit.com, and then um, another, another uh, Millstone Pizza and Tap House, uh, always, always got the taste to eat, so uh, when I'm actually able to eat um you know, and that's uh and all you know all my friends you know marshall reese uh yeah those guys have been extremely supportive of me and you know have always uh helped me out you know we, we can't do this sport you know without uh good people behind you and i've got a great group of guys behind me all right keith keith's one of the four guys uh from the carolinas fighting on the XFC 20 car, uh, 26 card coming up on Friday. Watch it. If you're not going to be there, it's going to be on Access TV. Keith, love you. Do some damage out there, and we'll see you.
when you see a feast. 